Uh, so this is my mining rig here. I'm currently mining Ethereum Classic. I've got one XFX and three different Gigabyte video cards. Um, they're all mining from this one single motherboard down here. Uh, it's got one X16 slot and three X1 slots. I'm getting about 29.8 mega hashes uh, per second on each card. Um, and this is running great, but I'd like to add a few more GPUs and this motherboard only has four slots. Uh, now I could go out and buy a motherboard with seven, eight, uh, I've seen some even with 10 slots. Um, but the thing is, is I already have this motherboard from a previous project. And by the time I go and buy a new CPU, new RAM, a new motherboard, I'm talking probably a few hundred dollars at minimum. So the other day when I was on Amazon, I came across this card that's called a PCIe Riser Extender for Bitcoin Litecoin ETH. Basically, it goes in an X1 slot and it provides inputs for up to four additional X1 slot cards. Um, it's supposed to be some kind of multiplier. Uh, not quite sure how it works. From what I was reading, it's only compatible with certain motherboards and your motherboard has to have free PCIe uh, lanes that are unused um, so I'm not quite sure what to expect but this 2698 price was certainly better than again buying a new CPU, a new motherboard, a new RAM, all that stuff um, so I ordered one of these several days ago it arrived here um, so we're going to try it out today and see what happens actually it's already open And this is uh, the U-Bit brand. This is the same brand of PCIe riser I'm using, and I was very satisfied with their risers. I haven't had one issue with one of theirs yet. Um, so you can see here, it's a fairly small card. It's got one X1 slot, and then it's got uh, four. They're just they're USB connectors, but it's made to go to the PCIe risers. Um, so you can just plug four into there. <coughs> Uh, there's not really much to it. So we'll go ahead and get this hooked up and try to plug in a fifth card and see what happens. Alright, so now that the mining rig is shut down, I'm just going to remove this last card here. Plug in the port multiplier. Just like that. And then you should just be able to plug this into any one of those ports and I'm gonna go get a fifth card set up and I'll be right back to plug in the fifth and then we'll try turning it on and see what happens right so it seems that uh, the cable I was using for the PCIe power input was designed for a cool max power supply and this is a Corsair power supply one would assume the pinout is one-to-one -one, but apparently that cable was wired a little bit differently so when I turn the power supply on it shorted out and immediately shut off I modified the cable and corrected the problem so it's now wired correctly. So back to where we were, I have a uh, fifth card, it's a power cooler RX580. Uh, two cards are connected down to this port multiplier into one PCIe slot. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. Uh, first the switch over there, power button. And you can see it starts up fine this time. I'm not seeing any picture on the monitor yet. I'm not sure if that's a good sign or not. The hard drive LED is blinking, so it does appear to be booting. Sometimes uh, when you plug these cards in for the first time, it takes Windows a while to install the drivers. So I can tell it's booting based on the LED and the hard drive noises I'm hearing. I'm just going to let this sit for about 15 minutes or so, and I'll come back and see where it's at. Okay, Windows is booted up now. Um, so this is the moment of truth. I haven't looked yet to see if it's working, so we'll go to manage. I apologize for this being so shaky. I don't have a proper tripod, and I'm holding the camera with one hand and using the mouse with the other hand. So, let's expand device manager. Display adapters. And we have five video cards. This is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to minimize this. So we'll, and you'll see we have five GPUs there. Just creating the DAG buffers.
And there we have it. All five GPUs mining with a PCIe splitter card. Um, I do have one more GPU to add, but unfortunately I think this power supply is maxed out, so I'll have to look into additional power supplies. But for the time being, this card works, and it works well. And this isn't a high-end motherboard either. This is just a basic uh, desktop workstation motherboard from an HP computer, so it's not even like a, a build-it-yourself motherboard. It's from an OEM computer. Um, so I'm very satisfied with this. I'll post a link to both the riser cables and the PCIe expansion slot in the video description below. Till then, keep on mining.